having a great summer vacation. I'm sorry you didn't have a lesson last week, but I had a family emergency and everything's fine now. Um, let's go over our memory verse from the last time. Our memory verse from last time um, said, Rahab hid the two spies at her house. Rahab hid the two spies at her house. Joshua 2, 6. Okay. For so this time, our lesson is called the promised land. The promised land. Um, don't forget to do your B-I-B-L-E songs. Remember to sing that song and some other suggestions they have is Peace Like a River, What a Mighty God We Serve, My God is So Big, and Deep and Wide. Okay. Alright, well let's sit back and relax and let's hear the story today, The Promised Land. Okay. So God's people had traveled through the desert for a long, long time. Now they were camped beside the Jordan River. It was time for Joshua to lead them into the land that God had promised. Each day the people went to the river to, to fill their buckets with water to drink. The Jordan River was deep and very wide. The children were very careful when they were near the river. One day, Joshua sent messengers to tell God's people, get ready to enter the promised land. The priests were carrying the golden box, the promised box with God's special gifts. When the priests moved into the land, follow them. Then Joshua told everyone, get ready. Tomorrow the Lord will show you his great power. In the morning, you will see amazing things. The people wondered, how will we reach the promised land? It is on the other side of the deep, wide river. It is not safe for all the people and animals to cross the Jordan River. What amazing things will God show us tomorrow? The next day, the priests lifted God's promise box onto their shoulders. They walked straight towards the Jordan River. As soon as their feet touched the water, the river stopped. Instead of flowing past, the water stood up in a heap long way away. The priest walked forward and stopped in the middle of the riverbed. Now the river was not deep. Now the river was not wide. It, now it was time for all of God's people to cross. Everyone saw the Lord's amazing power. Everyone was glad to trust him. All the people safely crossed the Jordan River into the Promised Land. Then the Lord told Joshua, Bring twelve large stones from the Jordan River. Twelve strong men went to the riverbed and lifted stones to their shoulders and arranged the stone in a big pile. Then the priest, with God's promised box crossed too. When they reached the other side, the water began flowing again. Soon the Jordan River was deep and wide as before. Again, all the people were amazed at God's power. Everyone remembered that day. God's people remembered how the Lord showed his great power when he helped them cross the Jordan River. God's people remembered the pile of stones that the people had taken from the river. The stones reminded everyone of God's amazing power. Okay. So to, to reach the promised land, God's people had to cross the Jordan River. It was deep and wide, but the Lord told Joshua what to do. Priests lifted God's ark of promise to their shoulders. When they stepped forward, the river stopped flowing. The priests walked to the middle on dry land. Then all of God's people crossed the dry riverbed. Everyone was amazed. Pick up stones from the riverbed, Joshua told 12 strong men. 
pile the stones up so everyone will remember what the Lord has done for us today. Okay, so that's our Bible story today. So we got the coloring sheet. And we have the promised land sheet with your stickers. And then we have our um, worksheet. It's ways to remember. So you've got stickers with this worksheet and it says place a heart sticker near the ways you remember the powerful things that God has done. So just there's one, two, three, four stickers. And you're going to put the stickers on the ways you remember the powerful things God has done. Okay. Alright. And so you've got your coloring page and also you've got some other things, fun things that you can do at home. You've got a memory game. Um, you can decorate some rocks. How many um, stones? Do you remember how many stones were there? You get 12. 12 stones. Okay, so get your snack out and let's talk about the story. What was the name of the river that God's people wanted to cross? What was the name of the river that God's people wanted to cross? Who carried the golden promise box into the river? Who carried the golden promise box into the river? Why didn't the people get wet when they crossed the river? What did the men do with the stones they carried from the river? What did the men do with the stones that they carried from the river? Okay. Alright, and our memory verse um, says, The water stopped and the people walked across the Jordan River. Joshua 3, 16. The water stopped and the people walked across the Jordan River. Joshua 3, 16. Okay. Alright, our um, disciple time story is called These Special Necklaces. These special necklaces. Alright, so you want to turn the sheet and we'll get started on that story. Okay, it says, Hi, Dad, shouted Dee as she entered through the door. I'm home from Paul's house. Hi, Dee, answered Mr. Morgan. What have you been doing all day? Finger painting, Dee replied as she took off her shoes and put them in the closet. Oh, finger painting, Mr. Morgan said. I'm sure that was lots of fun. Yeah, it was great. And look, Dad, I painted a picture of Chip for you, she said, holding the picture. Dee's dad smiled as he looked at the yellow dog painted on the page. That's an awesome picture, Dee, he said. I'll hang it in the garage, Dee smiled. She liked making pictures for her dad because he always hung them in his garage where he worked a lot. Well, something very exciting happened while you were gone, Mr. Morgan told Dee. Really? What? Dee asked, jumping up and down. You got a package in the mail, Mr. Morgan answered, handling her a puffy yellow envelope. Cool, Dee squealed. She loved getting mail, and a puffy yellow envelope package was her very favorite. Who is it from? It's from Grandma and Grandpa, he answered. Dee shook the envelope. I wonder what it is. Open it up and find out, suggested Mr. Morgan. Okay. Dee tore open that envelope. Inside was a small black box. When Dee opened it, she found a silver necklace with a pretty silver cross hanging from it. Wow, said Dee. It's a necklace. Yes, it is a very, very pretty necklace, agreed her dad. Neat, said Dee, throwing the box on the table. I'm going to play ball in the yard with Chip. Hang on just a second, Dee, her dad said. This is a very special necklace. We should sit down together and write your grandparents a thank you note for it. Dad, 
Laura gave me a plastic frog necklace last week, Dee pointed out. I didn't write her a thank you note for it. Mr. Morgan nodded. That's true, but this is a very special necklace. It is, Dee wondered. Why? Mr. Morgan replied, for a few reasons. He picked up the box and opened it. Dee looked carefully at the necklace. First, your grandparents gave it to you because they love you very much. So when you wear it, you can think of them and how much they love you. Oh, said Dee, I didn't think of it like that. And this is a cross necklace, Mr. Morgan continued. Do you remember why the cross is special? Because Jesus died on the cross, Dee answered. Yes, he did, Mr. Morgan nodded. Then what happened? Jesus came back to life, Dee said. He became alive again, and now he's my best friend. Right again. So this necklace will always remind you of Jesus and how much he loves you too, Mr. Morgan smiled. When you wear it, this necklace can help you remember lots of things. It will help you remember how much your grandparents love you and how much Jesus loves you and that you can tell others Jesus loves them too. Wow, what a gift, he said. Dad, will you help me put on the necklace? Of course, Dee. Then maybe we could do a finger painting to send to Grandma and Grandpa, she suggested. That sounds like a great idea, said Mr. Morgan, as he put the necklace on D. Okay, what a fun story. So what did D make for her dad while she was at Paul's house? What did she make while she was at Paul's house? Who sent D a package? Who sent D a package? What was special about the necklace? Do you remember? What was special about the necklace? How did Dee thank her grandparents for her necklace? How did Dee thank her grandparents for the necklace? Okay. Dee received a package in the mail for her grandparents. What have you received in the mail? Inside was a necklace with a pretty silver cross hanging from it. What kind of jewelry do you have? Do you have a watch? or maybe a bracelet. Dee's dad explained that the necklace was to remind Dee that her grandparents and Jesus love her. When have you been reminded that someone loves you? When have you been reminded that someone loves you? Dee Finger painted a picture to thank her grandparents. What pictures do you like to draw? What pictures do you like to draw? All right, I believe that's all the time that we have for today. Um, let's see. You guys have a great day. Bye.